So welcome everyone. So integrative intuition and Qigong healing is what we're going to do tonight. So Dave Watson is a friend of mine. We know each other 17 years. So he is a life uh, strategist who specializes in creating positive strategies for people seeking new life perspectives. Uh, Dave is also a trans channeler with over 30 years of experiences. Uh, he offers a deep insight into the life process with his soul group known as the Willows. He has written a book called The Conscious Omniverse. Uh, so Dave Watson's uh, website is askthewillows.com. So tonight he is uh, gonna help us to be more intuitive, right? So we welcome Dave and I will bring him to the room. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I, I really, I wanna, first of all, I wanna wish everybody happy new year. Happy 2022. Uh, and this, this is the year I feel, this is the year that love makes a real comeback. That's love in our hearts, love in life and love for life. <sighs> And this is a great way to start at talking today about intuition. Because, you know, I have people say, I don't have any intuition. And I think to myself, really? <laughs> I, I find that, uh, uh, that intuition is something that, uh, if, you look, if you look at a definition of like, intuition, the ability to understand something immediately without the need for conscious reasoning. We shall allow our intuition to guide us. That's what the dictionary says. And then it says, a thing that one knows or considers likely from instinctive feeling rather than conscious reasoning. That's an interesting one. And a feeling that guides a person to act a certain way without fully understanding why intuition was telling him or her that something was very wrong. Or maybe very right. That was a sentence with that being used in it. Uh, so, you know, intuition is something that we all, I think we all come with. Uh, it's what makes us a humans. It what, it's what allows us to communicate with each other. It's what keeps us alive. It's what allows us to make decisions in our lives, which is what our lives are all about, making decisions. So we use our intuition on a day-to-day -day basis, and we don't even know what we're using. In other words, it's so natural for us to, to intuit our, the life around us that we don't realize that's actually what we're doing. So each of us has a different idea uh, or, or definition of intuition. Um, and I think that, uh, I think that, you know, to define it is really to sort of try and minimize it because intuition is actually everything around us. It's what allows us to connect to the, on the earth plane. It's what allows us to connect on the energetic plane. It's what allows us to, to connect on the intellectual plane as well. Intuition, which is basically an extended type of imagination in which we somehow tie into a greater energy around us or a greater vibrational energy of, or, or, or wavelength uh, that gives us an opportunity to see things that we shouldn't be able to see or have any prior knowledge to. I don't think anybody sitting here tonight uh, has not had an intuitive experience, a conscious intuitive experience. As, as, as small as you're thinking of somebody you haven't talked to for a while, and suddenly the phone rings and it's them. You know, that happens to a lot of us. But I think, I think uh, in this case, it's, it's a good way to, 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 to begin to look at what intuition is. The definition of intuition, by the way, it's talking about the feeling. It's talking not about the idea, it's a feeling. And, you know, when we look at intuition, you know, uh, it's something that we have been taught since childhood that we shouldn't listen to too much. We should listen to them instead, you know, mom, dad, and, you know, the guys at school and the guys at church or wherever they are. And, and we uh, don't have a chance to really explore our own decision-making ability as completely as we could as children, because we're very intuitive as children, but it's, it's kind of discouraged, you know, because we need more direction, according to mom and dad. Uh, the folks around us. But that intuition that we hold is, is what we intuitively, instinctively know is right. And I think that that's kind of where it all starts for me when it comes to, to intuition. And my objective here tonight is to 
kind of like not educate you about intuition you're using it on a daily basis uh, yeah but but to awaken you a little more as to how to get and and actively uh, uh utilize that that intuitive ability you have and recognizing it how to go in tune it up and you know get it working in your direction so i'm kind of breaking the evening into three parts the first one is me talking to you right now uh the second part is going to be an exercise in which i'm going to uh, show you how you can uh, begin to uh, uh, utilize something as, as simple as muscle testing to begin to hone into your, your natural intuitive ability. And uh, I've, I've not done this before, and I can't see anybody's faces out there. So it makes it a little, a little uh, you know, secular for me to, to be here and, and, and talking to myself in the room. But uh, I'm, I'm also uh, intuiting that you're all, <laughs> you're all with me on this one. But uh, so the idea is, is, is to, is first of all, we'll, we'll, we'll begin in, in a few minutes, we'll, uh, we'll begin with a meditation. And then after we've done a meditation, uh, we're going to, uh, uh, I'm going to take you out of it. We'll, I'll talk about it a little bit. If I can get any feedback from you at all, I would really appreciate that. It says chats here, uh, but it would be really cool. If you have any big questions about any of the subjects or anything that I'm saying, Blast them in, and, and uh, Master Teresa will have a look at them. And in the third period, which will be our question and answer period, I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to uh, answer uh, or at least address some of the questions you have. What's this one say? Is there a certain chakra that? Oh, certain chakras. Well, first of all, the cool thing about intuition is it doesn't know a darn thing about chakras. You know, it really doesn't. It's just what, what we have. It's how we communicate and interact with the world around us. But um, we can open our chakras indeed to, to begin to align with those. So I'll, I'll include all of that in our, in our, in our uh, guided meditation. It's a good question and a good, and a good, and a good thing to consider. Uh, but intuition in that sense, you know, guys don't have intuition. We have hunches, right? Women have intuition. But uh, in actual fact, uh, women have intuitive hunches and men have, you know, intuitive hunches too. <laughs> there is not any difference between men and women having the ability to to see or understand something or have a, a, a pre pre knowledge of it. You know, uh, a lot of us uh, uh, may include uh, uh, deja vu. Uh, you know, deja vu and preja vu. You know, uh, deja vu. Suddenly, we see something around us uh, and we relate to it and go, "I've been here before. I I, I don't know when." That's an intuitive understanding of a recognition of a place you're in and uh and, and preja vu is to is to see something before it happens uh or a vision is that intuition it depends i mean there's a lot you can talk about when it gets into the, the specifics of this kind of uh, uh part of our mind because you know we have our conscious mind we have our unconscious mind and we have our higher consciousness. Those are the three parts of us that allow us to be focused here in this, this physical universe in which we live. And that's where we begin with uh, making our, our, um, our uh, personalities, uh, creating a persona for ourselves to interact with each other on this plane and determine how we're going to live and what we're going to do with our lives and how we would like to express ourselves. While we're, while we're in the living state of, of humanity. Well, you know, those are all, those are all things that, that, that are in fact born of and used on a regular basis, our intuition. And in fact, are born of intuition for without intuition, we wouldn't be here. My definition of, of, of intuition is, is more along the lines of, well, I wrote this down here. Oh yeah, I, I call it combining instinct with intellect. And that's not an analytical intellect. It's an aware intellect. It's one that comes to us directly and naturally in the moment. So that's kind of where I want to where I want to work today. And I'm trying to be intuitive as I present this to you because um, it's hard to write a script on something like this uh, other than just to share with what I do know. So I think I think maybe to help us get into the state right away, uh, I think it would be wonderful to to begin uh, with. Um, with a, a meditation and something I can take you through in a guided meditation way. So what I'd like you to do is just sit back. You can 
just relax and, and wherever you are, uh, just enjoy yourself in this moment and close your eyes and just take a nice deep breath. Just get yourself comfortable for controlling a little bit and just, just begin to close your eyes. And as you do, just, just notice how easy it is to follow your breath. And just, just look at your breath and feel your breath as you're breathing in and breathing out in a nice, relaxed way. That's just perfect for you. Just notice as you're breathing in and breathing out in a perfectly relaxed way. How you begin to just let go of the worries of the day. And you begin to just go deeper and deeper into the moment. And the deeper you go, the more relaxed you feel. That's right. And what we're going to do today is enable you to go through a meditation, a guided meditation as it is to go and explore your core, to connect with your intuitive self, to open it up and allow it to come forth in a direct way, whenever you wish it to. So just go deeper still as you head toward your inner core. And it's just like you're going down a rabbit hole just down the rabbit hole and just notice as you go deeper and deeper, the walls around you begin to glow a little bit. That's right. And you look around and you see a beautiful soft light just filling this rabbit hole, which isn't a rabbit hole, but is in fact a tunnel going straight through into your very core. And just notice the deeper you go, the more, light becomes evident. It gets lighter and lighter, even with your eyes closed. You feel the light around you. You can feel it through your eyelids as it gets brighter and brighter around you. And the brighter it gets, the deeper you go, and the more relaxed, and the more at peace with yourself you feel. That's right. Just keep going deeper and deeper until you get to a point where it just stops gently and you just feel yourself gently stopping, finding yourself in this deep, comfortable state in the very core of your being. And just take a moment to, just to let it all soak into you. Just let the energy around you penetrate your conscious mind. As you and your higher self and your unconscious mind all come together in your inner core. Don't worry about whether you can do this or not, because you're doing it as I speak. Just notice how comfortable it is to be here and how easy it is just to listen to the sound of my voice. As you go deeper into this state. And as you do, you just feel this wonderful energy just pulsing within you. And you realize this is the very core of your being, your energy source. And just allow it to wash over you. And as it does, it begins to allow your conscious mind just to expand. Just outside. Outside of your core. Up into your body. Outside of your body. Out into the world around you. Encompassing the earth. encompassing your solar system, 
expanding faster and faster and how easy it is, effortlessly and easily, to expand into the galaxy itself, the Milky Way. And quickly and faster, out into the infinite reaches of space and time until you go beyond time and space, until you enter the infinite hallways of your core being. That's right. And in this place, you don't have to do anything. Just be. That's right. And any thoughts that come across your mind, just look at them and let them go right by. That's right. In this deep and relaxed state, just notice how wonderful it is just to be. That's right. And this is what it feels like to be at the core of your intuitive self. Simply put, it's giving you an opportunity to recognize that feeling and to allow your conscious mind to hold the sense of that feeling within you from now on in. And then just notice how easy it is to do that as you bring this into your conscious mind. And you begin to move forward now. And just take a moment, just relax here. That's right. That's so perfect. Just to be in this deep and relaxed state. Now, <clears throat> extended beyond space and time, connecting with your eternal core, connecting with your base of intuition, you can begin to take this sense and begin to recede bringing the core with you in a different and conscious way as you begin to come back into the physical world from the infinite reaches of consciousness. Coming down now, down to the size of our galaxy, down to the size of our solar system, down to the size of the planet, down to the size of your home and your space and back inside of you, bringing with it this deep sense of being in touch with your intuitive core now, consciously, easily, and effortlessly. Just notice how good it feels to be here. And just notice any insights that are coming up now as you're back here. Any thoughts? Any learnings? Anything you brought back that you didn't have before you left? And just take those thoughts and take those insights and store them in that special place where all such thoughts and insights are kept for easy reference in your unconscious mind. That's right. And just notice how easy this is. And all you need to do to get here is to sit down quietly and to return here. Just sit down quietly and close your eyes and try this. Suspend your sense of disbelief, which you can do by just removing yourself from whatever's on around you in that moment and giving yourself permission to go into this 
altered state into this higher vibrational state. And then you'll be there just by giving yourself permission. So just take a moment now and rest in this place. Just let this experience just begin to integrate itself with you on every level of consciousness. In your mind, in your body, in your energy field, in your molecular structure. As it soaks into the 17 trillion plus cells in your body that hold together to make you through the strength of your mind and its intuitive sense of being in the world around you. So just take that moment and just lock it in. That's perfect. Let's take another moment and uh, finish locking it in if you haven't already. And we'll just come up from this deep, profound, meditative experience. We're just going to count up now from one to five. <clears throat> and with each ascending number, you're going to come more and more back into the physical moment, into the presence of your life with a great feeling of calm, with a great feeling of joy, and an intuition, an intuition, powerful and available whenever you wish. One, coming up now, coming up slowly, just relaxing, just feeling you and your body reintegrating on the physical plane. Two, coming up a little higher now. Just feeling the energy beginning to percolate around in your body, feeling your body. You can even begin to uh, take a little bit of a breath. Three, halfway there now, feeling really more here than there. Four, coming back now, feeling yourself fully back in the body. And stretch a little bit or move your shoulders or do whatever you want to do just to come back into the moment. And five, right back into the moment, feeling positive, regenerated, and surprisingly highly intuitive. But then, of course, you knew you would, didn't you? Okay. So I hope everybody's back. <laughs> it was an interesting uh, experience uh, to do something like that. Normally I would be having some kind of feedback. Does anybody have anything they want to share? I don't know if we can arrange this. Uh, oh. No, I, I saw myself um, when we were expanding. Of course, time became not, not so linear as like glimpses, like yeah. really quick. And then I saw myself reading a book about my life and then I put it away. And then I was reading another book about another life. And I, was, I only got to two books. And then I'm wow. like, oh, it's time to go back. Well, you went to the Akashic Records, darling. That was good. I knew you'd say that, yeah. Yeah. See, that see your intuition's working really good. I knew you'd say that. You know, see? <laughs> That's how intuition works. I knew that you were going to say that. You know, that's pretty. That's that's very interesting. That's good feedback too. Yeah, do I feel? find it uh, very relaxing too. Very relaxing. Give me more energy and that. Uh, mm -hmm. Christina, you have something to say, Christina? No. Christina, <laughs> uh, unmute yourself. Uh, I'm unmuting. Uh, I didn't really have much to say because it relaxed me so much mm -hmm. that I was just, I was floating. I was just, I was just like in another place. Really? Wow. Thank you. Yeah. 
Well, it's something we all have, right? Intuition isn't just something that we discovered suddenly. Uh, as I said earlier, I, I think it's I think what it is is the thing that we have come here to express in the physical. This is the, this is the gift of consciousness that we we that come or the gift that comes with consciousness. It's our survival mechanism. I mean, think about there wouldn't even be us as human beings on this planet if we had no intuition. I mean, we'd have been walking around eating all the poison berries and everyone would be dead, you know. But somehow, if somebody intuited that, that that I should eat that, maybe they saw, you know, a buffalo eat it and yes. there was no problems. But who knows how that works, you know? But the intuition is part of understanding. If I do what they do, intuitively, I'll be okay. You know, that's how you take information you have no freedom knowledge about and apply it to the world around you. You can call it imagination or whatever else you like, but it's a beautiful thing. You know, and I'm I'm glad I'm glad you had such a had such a, a nice experience. I see a couple writings coming up on the on my screen too, saying it was a really really good experience. Good because if if uh, if Master Teresa's recorded all this, uh, maybe you know you might want to you know take that particular meditation and and use it and play it again because you know the more that you do something, the the more it it, it helps you really get there. Because there's nothing like being there. That's what I say, you know. And, uh, you know, you can listen to words until the cows come home. But until you jump in and, you know, test the water, you know, put your toe in, it's hard to hard to figure anything else out, you know. Yeah. yeah. It, I found it very relaxing, too. And, you know, I, I'm not, J Jackie had, you know, she could see things and she saw, you know, the book and all that. Me, my imagination was, let's say, kind of poor or something, but I was seeing more different dimensions. And Beautiful. I'm very able to close my mind, like I'm really able to stop my thoughts, but I'm not good at seeing things like other people see all these things. I don't see that, but I felt so much tingling right here and I got so hot so Good. hot all that for me but no wonderful visions and that's well, okay that's okay know, <laughs> well, don't don't worry don't worry about that you know for the first time with somebody who you've never done any work with you know and you got a bunch of other people and you're sitting in front of your computer screen and and you know like that I think that's a pretty fantastic uh, uh, feedback on it, particularly getting into the multidimensional aspects, because we are multidimensional beings. We're not just here, you know. It's not like we're somewhere else having breakfast right now, but you know, it's it's it's, it's like we are multidimensional in that way. I think I think that if you keep practicing that, uh, I think that I think that you're gonna you're gonna have a nice breakthrough for yourself. And don't worry about what you think you should have, or whether something was poor or not poor. Everybody who did this exercise, I would, I would, I encourage you to 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 compliment yourself on doing it, to go through it, to appreciate it, because the only person who in the whole world is going to really encourage you to move ahead in doing this kind of work is you. You know, when I first started channeling oh, oh, forty years ago, I had one lesson, and then the guy took off and went to, uh, you know. Uh, the Northwest Territories for three I years. That. I read about your experience. You know, and, and and it was kind of like, what do I do? And the answer is practice, practice, practice. When you have an experience like that, don't stop. This is kind of like, you know, kind of like the old door opens. And you're kind of looking around going, oh, this looks nice. Open both doors and go in. You know, once you walk through the door, you can't come back. You're stepping up and you're stepping more and more into your intuitive body and the purpose of being here on this planet in the first place. Don't forget, we're all spiritual beings on a physical journey. You know, we're not physical beings trying to be spiritual. Too late, we already are. Spirit is what created the physical, not the other way around. Yeah. So that's what we have to keep in mind in, in our mind. Okay. That's why I say this is the decade we're living in right now. And in this decade, this is the one this is, the, this is the year that love makes a comeback. Mm. You know, I, I put on my Facebook page, uh, uh, love is the only answer, no matter the question, which comes from my friend Cliff Preston, my mentor. Mm. And, uh, and that's, the, that's the truth, because it is about love. Love is the true law of attraction. Love is the thing that brings us all together. It's what makes our cells stick together. You know, that's, if, if that's what, attracts, what attracts molecules together. What attracts atoms to molecules? What, you know, what attracts cells to stick to each other? 
the law of attraction and when we experience it on a physical level in our level of consciousness mm -hmm. we our highest expression of ourselves is love isn't it therefore it must be coming from our very base that's what holds everything together that's what's created the physical universe that sense of attraction and love and desire to create so one and the same so yeah. get used to it <laughs> <laughs> So Dave, we have a couple of questions uh, in your chat box. Uh. Have oh a yeah, look. sure. Want to have a look? Uh, two questions. Uh, is there a certain chakra that's connected to our intuitive abilities? Uh, well, the crown chakra is, you know, is, is what's associated with with our our higher self. But we have the brow chakra, and then our communication chakra, which are our throat chakra. In fact, all of our chakras are, are attached to our intuitive sense because our intuition based is, 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 is as much emotional as it is intellectual. Because, you know, that's what we talk about. I get a gut feeling for that. You know, I get a tingly feeling. You know, I get the spidey sense, sense, feeling. It's, it's all, it's all, it all has to do with, with our touch. And the touch outside is our emotions on the inside. You know, it's external touch. Uh, internal emotions that's that's one of our five senses right uh so so the chakras uh so 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 the so the, the heart chakra is is one for love then we have then we have the the abdominal chakra or the I, I call it the liver chakra but that's where our emotions are stored you know and it's our emotions that are in truly you know in charge of our lives that's why we do anything right you know why did you do that oh it felt good or because i wanted to or because i liked it it made me feel good made me feel positive so that's why we do everything is, is to feel good you know but when it comes to um when it comes to uh, expressing ourselves in our higher self uh yeah it comes to all of our chakras so i wouldn't i wouldn't try and and, and try and uh, break it down so much you know as, as far as that, that that thing is concerned is is intuition mostly connected with the emotional body rather than the mental body half and half i think i may have defined, you know answered that question a little bit and how do you know the message thought feeling is, is is from spirit in your intuition and not ego playing with you well because uh, you have to trust yourself <laughs> this is all about learning about self-trust you know the, the, this is this, this kind of talks these kind of situations are all about self-trust and believing in ourselves and learning to 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 really get get things going and that question is a good question because that's something I struggled with for years. Am I just making it up? Am I doing this because I feel good? Am I doing this because, well, you know what? It's complicated, but we're doing it because we're alive. That's what we're doing. If you weren't alive, you wouldn't be doing anything. I mean, I know it sounds simplistic and even silly, but you know, so many of us spend so much time trying to analyze why we're here. It's over before we have a chance to enjoy it. So, we did the meditation. I'm glad that everybody enjoyed it. I want to just show you something that I find is a real base for discovering how to get in touch with our, our intuition without having to get a physical answer. So many of us think there's a, a genie in a bottle living inside of us that's going to, you're going to rub the bottle and poof, out it comes. <coughs> Pardon me. Excuse me. Our, in, our intuition works. In a, in a way that's beyond words and expresses in a sense of on, on an emotional level and all emotions come from the essence of love you know like when we come onto the physical plane into the body love pure love comes into us and it comes out of us like light comes out of a speck out of a prism and only it comes out in all the emotions from from love to uh i don't know guilt and uh, shame, you know, the lousy emotions, but they're all there. They're all they're all part of that that that, that experience. But so so that's as I said earlier, that's which is where where the emotions come in uh, and help direct our lives in so many ways. But uh, it, we can do something that, that doesn't involve any of that. And I'm going to show you how to do it. I wore a dark shirt so I could you could see my little fingers here, and I hope you can see it on my on, on the camera here. This is called muscle testing. And many of you have done muscle testing in lots of different ways. Some of you may have even used this technique, but, and if you have, please bear with me. Um, but muscle testing is a way to allow us to talk directly to our unconscious mind. 
And it's based on the premise that if we test the muscle, sometimes it involves putting an arm out to one side and then pushing down and asking certain questions. And it'll either be rigid or it'll be, you know, soft or it'll be, it won't have any strength to it and it'll go down. And up means yes and down means no. Up means like and down means no. Uh, down means dislike. Up means true and down means, you know, you kind of get the picture. So it's kind of like your body's a bit of a pendulum in itself. I know Master Teresa's taught some classes on pendulum use, but I, I like, I like, uh, I, I love pendulums, as a matter of fact, but uh, we could, you know, I could, we could go through that lesson. It's already been taught to, to many of you, but this, this may not. So just to backtrack a little bit, if you want to do muscle testing on yourself and there's nobody around, what you do is this, you take your weekend, I'm, I'm right-handed, so I take my left hand and I just do this. I kind of see what I'm doing with my fingers like this. And I go like this. And I kind of like put these three fingers and this finger just, just on my chest here or just on my, you know, just under my breast. But I'll bring it down a little bit here. And I keep this finger up just like that. See? Yeah. Bring it up like that. Then I take this finger, my right hand, and I push on the top joint, not at the top of the finger, not Sorry, here. I can't see your hands. <laughs> Is that any better? Yes, thank you. Okay, hello, here we are. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> that was a lousy visual. Okay, here we go, do it again. You, just, you put your hand on, your, on yourself like this, okay, with one finger up, okay? And then you just take the top joint here, uh, just like that, and you push down. Now, when you do it, you look straight forward and up slightly. So when you look forward and up slightly, what you're doing is you're cutting yourself off from what's going on around you. And you're opening up to uh, you're opening up to uh, your higher self. So what you do is this: you put your hand up like this, and this is muscle testing. And those of you who know, just resist with your finger, push in slightly. You know, don't try and like you know give yourself a little you know sprain sprain knuckle or anything, but just just push in and just just notice it'll you know and, and resist a little bit, and it'll push back. So look up and uh, just say. Uh, say what your name is whatever your name is say my name and i say my name is david and i push okay say say what your name is inside to, to yourself you know and you'll notice it's very strong okay and then you come up with another name and you say uh my name is uh zoltan or something like that and of course there's no strength to it at all when you push in go back to your name my name is david my name is zoltan it's amazing the the difference between the two that's the first one you test for the second thing you test for is true uh, and false. Well, that was true and false. I'm sorry. Well, I wrote them all down here. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, the next thing to the next thing to work on is is like and dislike. So you put your hand back up there and you look up and you think, uh, okay, uh, and you think of you think of something you really like, somebody, you know, something that you really like, and you get a good picture of it. You know, it could be an old friend or your mom or who knows. And you just push and you get really strong and let go and then come back and then think of somebody or something you really don't like. You know, could be, I don't know, Brussels sprouts, who knows. And you push down and you just notice that that finger caves a little easier. And then the last one is a yes and a no. Okay. And that's when you get the finger up and you go, yes, yes, yes. And it's nice and strong. And then you push and go, no, no, no. And when you say no, interestingly, it gets weaker. People notice this? You try it? Just see how that, just see how that, that finger responds. There we are. <laughs> you can see it. Okay, so that's how to connect with our inner self without having to go through any thought process. How can you use it? Well, say you're out in the, in the health food store and you see two brands of vitamin C you want to buy. So you pick one up in your right hand, or in, I'm sorry, in your left hand, and you look at it, you go, I wonder, I wonder what this one is. You put it back on the shelf. And you do the process and no one's looking around there, you know, some of the vitamin stores are pretty big. They're not going to look at you. And you go, okay. And you just say, this vitamin is the best vitamin C for me. 
and you get nice and strong. Okay, you pick up the other one, you put it back. This vitamin is the best vitamin C for me, and it's a little weaker. So get the stronger one. That's how your body's intuition tells you what is good for you and what isn't good for you. Okay, and it goes into all kinds of other things. When you talk to your body, when you begin to use this initial way of tweaking your intuition through physical body, which is always the best way to learn, because I, I think I think once we learn something through our mind and our body, we ha it has a tendency to lock in on us. You know, it's a lot easier for it to, to, to be attached. So once once we once we've got that that together, then uh, we we can begin to move into other areas and listen to other parts of our intuition or higher self as well but that one alone is very handy and uh and uh, it's also one that allows us to to feel very much in the area of of taking charge of ourselves of not having to go and ask somebody else and beginning to trust ourselves see that's the trust factor that comes into it because the reason most of us don't listen to our intuition is because we don't trust ourselves <laughs> and it's not hard to figure out why because as little kids, we're taught to like trust our parents first. Because you know they never know; they want to keep us in hand. They don't want to make sure we don't wander off the porch or off the balcony. You know, it's a long way down if you live in an apartment building. God forbid. So they gotta, you know, kind of do some managing with us, and uh, they teach us to trust their opinions before ours, which is good, which is healthy it's for children. But it's not always, you know, it's not always allowed to evolve uh, with a child as they get older. And, and as a result, a lot of us grow into adulthood with that feeling of not trusting ourselves completely, you know, or our opinion or our intuitions. So something like this allows us to, allows us to reclaim that part of ourselves and to get more and more into the, the intuitive part of our consciousness. So anyway, that's, that's, that's what I, that's what I have, have observed with that anyway. So try that at home, you know, and see what you think. If you like some of the things I talked about, I mean, I just had a little bit of time to share tonight, and I hope I hope I, I stimulated a few a few more brain cells, you know. Uh, and 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 uh, uh, I, in the spring, I'm going to be doing something online uh, called uh, the Keys Course, which I believe I taught through, uh, you know, and, and through through. Uh, uh, with with Master Teresa in the past, uh, uh, several years ago, but my friend Cliff Preston uh, recently passed away uh, in December, and um, one of the things he was communicating to me about before he passed, and interestingly after he passed, was getting the keys coursed up, which is giving you the keys to your mind, you know, and, and giving you the keys to your own higher self, and giving your keys, giving you the keys to you know, becoming an independent, uh, a critical thinker. And I know a lot of you are on that road. We all are. But it's good to get as much information into it and as much practice into it as possible. And it's always great to get together with other like-minded people. So that's going to be happening in the spring. And I'm sure uh, I'll be talking to Master Teresa about that between now and then. And, and uh, any of you folks, if you like that, we'll be, we'll be putting something uh, really good together, I believe. And it's going to be like, two-hour sessions uh, all together that's going to be uh, six of them, you know, and uh, we're uh, determining whether we're going to do it weekly or whether we're going to do it, uh, is it going to be six? Yeah, it would be six. Or will we do it over a number of weeks, you know, it's dependent upon how long it's going to be. But uh, it's uh, it, it's going to be a brilliant course, and it's pre-course uh, cursor to, to my channeling course as well, and we'll be doing some of the basics of channeling and connecting with you know, your higher self and things like that even more. So if you liked a little bit of what I did today and I shared today, uh, I will certainly get into it with greater detail. There'll be a workbooks and all kinds of stuff like that to, to go with uh, at that time. So I'd like to thank everybody. I'd like to thank Master Therese for giving me the opportunity to share a little bit. And in these, uh, and these hard times we're living in, there's a, there's a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety that we're experiencing from day to day, you know, the way, uh, the way the news sways from one day to the next, you just don't know what tomorrow's going to hold. So the better we feel about ourselves inside, the more we feel our intuitions are correct, the more we listen to ourselves and we think for ourselves, 
the better we feel. That's been my experience in life anyway. So God bless you all. And, uh, uh, or whatever it is that runs the universe, <laughs> you know, and may she, may she give us all uh, lots of, uh, lots of love. But, uh, the truth is, uh, that, uh, uh, I, I just think that, uh, uh, you guys are wonderful human beings and, 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 and I want to thank you for giving me your time and your, and your, you know, this part of your life, which is literally what you've done. So thanks a lot. And I hope to talk to you again soon. Be well. Thank you, Dave. Thank you.